Hi, my name is Tanya and I run Tandem Beautiful in Copthorne and I'm making this video today to show um, how I do eyelash extensions and what to expect within the treatment. This is my lovely model, Abby. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to put on some eye pads. This is just going to protect the under eye area to make sure you're not jabbing any trees as in the client's eye. So if you can just open your eyes nice and wide for me, Abby. And you just want to place that over the bottom lashes. That just makes sure that all the lashes stay out, out so that when you lash in the top lashes, you're not going to stick any ones to the bottom. And then when I put these on, I'm going to ask Abby to close them eyes really slowly for me. Close your eyes slowly for me. That's perfect. If the client start to close their eyes really fast, then often what can happen is all the lashes kind of get stuck underneath the pads. So yeah, if you just ask them to do them slowly, then that will help. I then normally go in with some tape as well. This just helps to secure the pads in place. And I'm going to place a little bit just on the inner corner here. Just keeps, holds that down nicely. And then normally just place a bit down here, just to secure it on the client's face. Okay. So then what we need to do is go through with some primer. Now primer is just going to um, get cleanse the lashes, get rid of any oils. Um, eyelashes are just like your hair. They contain a lot of oils in them. And if you don't get rid of all these oils, then obviously the lashes aren't going to stick. So I just get a couple of micro pore brushes and just brush through and just make sure that they're really nice and clean. And the other thing that you can use, and what I've already done already when Abby got here, is I got her to wipe her eyes with some um, protein remover pads. That just removes any protein from the lashes. But I normally get my clients to do that themselves because they can get in and have a really good old scrub. So I go through the second eye, sometimes I go back and get a bit more primer. Um, sometimes this can sting clients' eyes. So um, sort of let them know in advance, you know, that it may sting a bit. If it does sting, it will only sting for a couple of seconds. It's just sometimes it can kind of pour through into the eye. Okay, so once you've given those a nice old cling, you're ready to get lashing. Okay, so um, obviously there's um, lots of different lengths and thicknesses of lashes and curls that you can have. Now mainly I choose to work with C curls, um, they're just a really nice kind of exaggerated curl and obviously lashes come in different thicknesses um, and lengths. Now Abby has, um, she's very fortunate, she has really nice, long, healthy, natural lashes and she's got really lovely natural shapes. So, you know, it's quite easy to kind of get a good effect with her, but obviously with some clients who have sort of shorter lashes, um, you know, we can put the length on there, it's gonna make them look a lot nicer as well. Um, so um, I sort of range from, I use sort of 8 millimetres, 9, 10s, 11s, 12s, and probably 13 is my longest. I would use a 13 on Abby because she's got nice long lashes, but for most clients the longest I would probably use is about an 11 or a 12. Um, right, okay, um, when it comes to different lashes, you have different thicknesses. So these ones are um, my 0.2s. Then I have 0.15s, 0.10s, and then the volume lashes, which are 0.07s. So today, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a mixture of volume and classic lashes on Abby. So I need to shake up my glue. Very, very important. So most clients have between 100 to 150 lashes per eye. 
Now, when I um, book someone in for a full set, I ensure that every single lash, every single natural lash, is lashed. There are a lot of lash technicians out there who don't lash every lash. Um, so you really need to sort of do your research if you're looking for a lash tech in your area. Look at their work that they do and make sure, you know, that they're then putting out decent work because there are so many people out there who just go on a one day training course, want to just earn some quick money, don't really spend the time practicing and what a, a lot of things I see when people come through my door and they've been elsewhere is I see that all their lashes are stuck together um, where the lash technician has used too much glue and then what's happened is the lash extension has then stuck to another lash extension. Now, one of the main things with lashing is that there's got to be one lash on one lash. Um, some people, you know, will go in, they won't be isolating the lashes properly and they can stick, you know, one lash extension to maybe, you know, two or three natural lashes. So, like I say, you know, you need to make sure you research um, your lash technician. I am incredibly passionate about lashes. I trained um, three years ago um, in classic lashes. Um, I then practiced, practiced, practiced. I didn't charge anyone for about three months because I wanted to make sure I got it 100% right. Um, I have just recently um, done my extended training in Russian volume. Um, Russian volume is when you um, can attach up to six very, very fine lashes on one natural lash. And the way you do this is you pick up to six lashes and you fan them out as you pick them up and then place them onto one natural lash. Um, so I did this training literally a few weeks ago with eyelash extensions in Kent. Um, Francine Widows um, runs that training, training academy and she is fantastic. Um, she's really passionate about lashing. She's been lashing for only about two years but the standard of her work is absolutely fantastic. Um, she also runs a Lash Tech tutorial um, Facebook page. Um, I highly recommend going on there and having a look at that. So, yeah, so I'm just going to carry on lashing now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back probably in about an hour or so so that you can see the progress and see the difference that we've made to Abby's lashes. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're about an hour through. Um, and as you can see, Abby's lashes are looking really nice and full now. Um, I tend to sort of work from the outside inwards, um, sort of set up a frame. But um, yeah, so but basically what I've done here is I've put in some volume um, lashes. Um, that's basically where you put you know a few a few um, lash extensions, very fine extensions onto one natural lash, but it gives it that really nice full look. Um, and then obviously I'm going to come in and do the inner corners and finish up and then I'll show you the end result at the end. Okay, so we're all finished now. So this is the finished set. I'm just going to brush through these, make sure nothing's stuck together. Um, so it's taking me about two hours to do a full set. I always allow sort of two to two and a half hours, um, depending on the, the number of lashes. Um, as I said before, you know, most people have between 100 and 150 lashes per eye. So you're looking at about 300 lashes all together, so that's why it kind of takes that time. Um, when it comes to infill, um, I always allow an hour and a half um, to infill someone's lashes. Um, I just feel that, you know, that gives me enough time to make sure that they're up to fullness. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take these pads off. Um, just got to take the tape off. Take the pads off. Now there's no pain or anything involved in having eyelash extensions. Take 
those off and then it's going to check that nothing's stuck underneath. No, nothing's stuck. So, Abby, if you want to open your eyes, if they sting, then shut them immediately. Nope, all good. Fantastic. So that's a full set. Um, so, for my prices, I charge £50 for a full set of classic lashes. I charge £70 for a full set of volume. Um, and that's a mixture of 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D lashes, dependent on the health of your lashes. Um, infills are £25 for classic, £30 for volume, and I'm based in Copthorne, so look me up and book in your appointment. Thanks.